so the Dark Elf still wanders here at the room of Helgen. What the hell's going on with these mods? So, if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, you should watch episode one and see what I mean. Look at me, I haven't even left Helgen yet, and I already look like a complete fucking badass. No, because this chef from hell, they really wanna spoil you and break the game. I really had no idea that I will be getting so much to the point where it will chest. To the point where, I don't know, it's a joke. But on the other hand, I'm very happy to get a little, you know, a few. Let's go. Starting stuff. Now, in the Whoa, last episode, I didn't show all what these things carry. As you can see, all Dunger weapons and armor, all standard Let's armor, moving. ammo, standard weapons, soul gems, Let's keep moving. skill books. <sighs> Ralof, please be quiet for a moment, buddy. Anyway, yeah, this is just like all the chests in the other room that I show on the last episode. It's pretty much the same loot, just different room. Moving. <sighs> all right, Ralph, let's start this. There may be a way out. Down this way. Let's go and kill something now. doesn't give up easy. Grab everything important and let's move. Dragon's burning everything to the ground. I just need to gather some more potions. Free them up! Don't leave Helgen alive. If you can find any potions, we'll need them. Look around. Grab anything useful. Done. Let's get moving. Trolls' blood. It's a torture room. Hear that? Luck, come on. I'll water the ground. Must have run off. Was Jarl Ulfric with you? No, I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. 
Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Ah, it's locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we get out. Grab anything useful and let's go. Take a moment where every time I display a book, I will show at least like one or two seconds so the people that are interested in to read the book, they could, you know, press pause and read it. Because I know there are people out there that care about the lore, and this game has an amazing lore. If you, if you by any chance you're new to this game and you don't know about it, I suggest you to read these books because they truly enhance so much the world of Skyrim gives so much depth to it and some of these books are actually very genius Better to stick together down here. Come on, hurry up. Imperial dogs. There is nothing that's too low for them. Rayloff seems to like you. 
That's good enough for me. Better to stick together down here. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. I'll keep watch in case Ulfric comes through. Here. Talos guide the boat. Looks like the way out's up ahead. Come on. Let's see where this goes. Come on, this way. That doesn't go anywhere. Guess we'd better try this way. No? I hate spiders. Just look at this creepy. Disgusting-looking demons. <sighs> Something about this game is very fucking creepy. Are those ah! goddamn spiders? Look what they do with their food. Ah!
Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. And watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. So this is an area where you can do a great exploit for either level up fast or what I care the most right now is getting my sneak at, you know a hundred. So what you want to really do is put your knife, make sure to have a knife for you and go in sneaky mode. Hey, and hit it like that. Just when he's not looking at you. And the thing is that while you are in the cave, he cannot die or he cannot be mad at you for hitting him. Anyway, before I continue explaining that exploit, I'm gonna show right here. That's what we want. At least put your first perk there and continue exploiting that. If you are behind him, he, he will not see you. If you're using a knife, don't do it with the sword or an axe. Do it with the, with the knife because you can do multiple fast attacks all in a sneak, you know, critical hit, which is going to raise both. You know, one-handed and especially stealth um, sneak. So anyway, um, this is gonna be up to you if you wanna use this exploit or not. I'm gonna get more into that very soon. But first, I wanna show all the skill perks um, for each tree of skills, right? So, I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe some people might care to see this, but if you don't, well, just keep ahead till I'm done with this area. Sorry if my, this may be boring to most people, but I guess, I don't know, I'm feeling that it's an even better way to do a long play. <sighs> At least from my opinion. tree for my bill and for those who love archery you know like almost all these perks that are really necessary for you to make a real epic or strong um, archery build and since one of the focus of this character is archery because you know he's an elf and he's also a ranger now this perk right here called the ranger is a super must have or archery you're gonna be able to move really fast while aiming and that you know it's gonna make you just really powerful the way you can move while aiming it's a very underrated perk and I want it like right now also flurry is good and this one right here dual savagery so also, uh, I want this build to be like, it's gonna be doing once in a while, you know, dual wielding swords, and then sometimes it's gonna switch to shield and sword when, when you know, when the time is kind of necessary. Also, it's gonna be obviously archer, but also it's gonna be an arcane. So he's gonna use uh, arcane elements like, you know, illusion and 
alteration and conjuration, a lot of conjuration, so yeah. That's gonna be my fucking epic elf. The Dark Elf.
now now let's go and try to explain better this exploit for those uh, who don't know this just go slashing and slashing while sneaky don't ask me why I don't know but the sneak increase like super super fast it's almost like they want you to go into stealth mode very quick in this game but this is a way to do it if you wanna go out there into Skyrim and being already a decent you know sneaker and yeah put it on legendary mode anyway I know my whole playthrough is gonna be on legendary but the reason why you wanna do this in legendary mode is cause he's gonna take a lot more damage and you're gonna be able to exploit this you know in a better way also I think you gain more experience points now don't go to the bear whatever you do keep Raloff away from the bear if you get close to the bear the bear may get up and then you're gonna lose this moment of you know exploit Raloff he needs to be crouching like this also the good thing for me is that I can heal him this is a great help. So right now I'm doing three um, skills. I'm doing, you know, re regeneration, one-handed, and sneak, which is very fucking nice. See, also you're gonna level up very, very quick. Um, you can, you know, you can reach like level of 30 or 40 really, really fast doing this. I'm not gonna go that high, I'm just gonna... Oh, what I want to do is get the stealth to a hundred. Or near a hundred. Then I'm gonna leave. Like I said before, this is your option to do. If you wanna do or not. I like to do it every time I do a new character. Because this is what I, you, you wanna do when you wanna make a fast build. Also you can use your archery. Oh yeah, you can start upgrading your archery too, doing this. I think you get more experience point for the archery if, if you're in stealth. I'm, I'm not really sure, but that's what I think. Sorry, Raloff. I really hate to do this to you, buddy. I like him a lot. He's a very cool character. But now I'm gonna edit cut and come back when we get in there just keep in this corner right here it's very good position to do this now go nuts on him <sighs> so after three years now my sneak is on you know 99 it really won't take you that long you can do this in like about 20 minutes so this is why I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cut and you know not showing all that because it's gonna be torture and really boring for a lot of viewers so I wanna show this mostly for those that they don't know I know a lot of people may know this trick but I know also a lot of people that they don't know this so it's pretty much the reason why I'm showing it for those who wanna you know get a, a very fast quick um, stealthy build so this is all you have to do man and you know what after that I discovered this myself I want to do it all the time every time I make a new character <laughs> I'm not even ashamed of that I'm not not of that now this is a new route or skill branch that the uh, the the mod has you can increase your speed one thing I like now about this new version is that you can skip life food. I never like to waste a perk on that. So you can go straight to Silent Realm and Silence, which is so it's a must have silence. So when you move, the enemies they won't see you and they won't hear you. As long as you you stay out of sight, you're gonna be in perfect stealth all the time, which I love. You're gonna be able to move really fast too.
now again. Sorry for that, Ralph. I like you, Ralph. You're a cool guy, man. Thank you for letting me uh, use you to train myself and level up quickly. Now, we got a bear to hunt, says the ranger. With a mighty epic bow, the ethereal bow. Love it. Sneaking is overrated, eh? Like the way out. I knew we'd make it. Wait. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwoods, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. I always love a song, the place as soon you leave, Helgen. Now I'm pretty sure that all this, a lot of this, green wasn't here before in the original version. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. Very good, Ralph. You're a good sum of Odin. A sum of mighty Thor and Valhalla. But now, the Dark Elf must have taken his separate path. I will see you back at Riverhood, buddy. Or Riverhood. First, I'm gonna wander around before I go into there. Catch you soon, buddy. Well, I kind of want to apologize that uh, I took pretty much like two episodes just pretty much in Helgen. But I, I had to take it easy and I had to take a slow pace because I was very driven by the whole mods that this game just threw at me at the very beginning. And also, well, I don't know. I uh, was confident that I would finish Helgen episode one, but I don't like to make my videos longer than 45 minutes because then I start to get all kind of issues in audio box and there should be a goddamn bandit here. Supposedly he wasn't able to see me yet, but he 
pretty much he saw me because he's programmed to to be aggro at you as soon as you get near the area. Well, he's gonna be looking for me, trying to get up here. I'm gonna wait for this fool. See for how long it takes him to come over here. There you are. First man that kill. <sighs> now I'm really hoping and I got faith that this series is gonna get better and better, hopefully, and more interesting. <sighs> I don't know how many people's gonna follow or not, but I'm loving this game. And I always have. So I'm doing this game for very deep reasons. Also, the fact that. My wife just gave me this game as a gift for my birthday, so that's all the inspiration that I need to continue the mighty Skyrim.